Construction continues on the Waukesha Bypass Project to connect I-94 to Highway 59. And as Sean Gallagher reports, one man is not happy about how the project will impact his farm. Now, construction will continue here on Merrill Hills Road, going from two lanes to four lanes, but the Department of Transportation doesn't have an exact idea where it will go from there. But one resident tells me that this road is going to cut right through his backyard, which is farmland, something that's been in his family for 85 years. A lot of the work closer to the freeway is finished, making four lanes for more traffic. But it's a far cry from what it used to be for Bob Johnson. His parents bought this farm in 1932, and he was born here. Yeah, I'm not happy about it, of course not. I'm not any different than anybody else prefer not in my backyard. And I really did get it in my backyard. <laughs> Bob's picturesque farm view going to be completely different. Got a pretty nice view here, but uh, that's gonna change. He says the new Waukesha bypass is going to cut right through his backyard, just a few hundred feet from his home. There's any sense in crying about it. You're not gonna do anything about it, you're not. We tried, we did all we could, I felt, and so. Uh, that's the way it stands. But Bob isn't completely against the bypass. He says the traffic has become unbearable with cars and semis in front of his house. He just wishes they did it differently. Personally, I think they'd been better off if they'd have taken my house and there was a farmhouse and, and a couple more houses and, and stayed up here, but they chose not to do that. And the entire project connecting 94 to 59 expected to be finished sometime next year. In Waukesha, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. And Bob says even though the bypass will split his farmland in two, a crossing will be installed so he can still use both sides of the farm.